Hey guys, welcome back to Bondo Harvest. Look, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're here at the Tastemade Studio to celebrate the premiere of Top Chef Jules. A new show on Bravo where Top Chef alumni bail it out creating awesome recipes. So in the spirit of the competition, I'm challenging a fellow YouTube chef, Byron Talbot, a great bloke, to breakfast. So it'll be interesting to see if he can come up with a healthy take on breakfast like I do. So let's get started. Alright. Well, hey buddy, you ready for this? Yeah. So look, I'm gonna challenge you to a breakfast. We've got these two trays here, which has got the, I suppose, the key ingredients that I've picked. Nice. And then we've got over here a plethora of all these beautiful ingredients that we can sort of add to it, garnish it, make it our own. Okay. So you ready to see what's under here, mate? I'm excited, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna pull this off, start the clock, and we're gonna get cooking. Sweet. Nice. Alright, let's do it. What I was gonna cook in my porridge. It's something I'm pretty comfortable doing, so it sort of makes sense to do that. A very simple omelette, keeping it healthy as possible, sort of fit guys, terms and conditions. Byron's already over there getting the goodies. I'm gonna go back with my tray. These heirloom tomatoes are super nice. So you're coming over to get the good oh, stuff. Oh yeah, nice. I'm get some extras yeah, as well. I wanted to get the first, first grabs on <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's get started. The heirloom tomatoes, basil, super simple. All right, so the quinoa is gonna take the longest to cook, so we're gonna get the quinoa on first. My wife always gets so mad at me when I put the eggshells back in the egg crate, but it's the easiest place to put the eggs. <laughs> this tap is taking its time. <laughs> I used to make tons of these when I worked in a few uh, bistros. See what he's got going on over there. <laughs> Water goes on. Quinoa's gonna go straight in there. Stir that so it cooks evenly. Coconut milk. I wonder if Byron's got a uh, <laughs> can opener that works. Whisk this up and actually just let it. Thanks, buddy. Oh boy, <laughs> fantastic, you're stealing my can opener. I'll go team. The most intimidating thing about Guy is that he's working in a professional kitchen every single day. I'm a little out of the game, just a tiny bit by a few years. Nice amount of basil. What are we making, mate? Oh boy. You have time to come over here, something's wrong. Oh, something's no. Something's wrong. Ed, so what, are you, what, what are you making? A little omelette. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It's always interesting to see what from one bunch of ingredients, you know, two dishes come from. Mate, I'm pumped to taste your omelette. Good luck. Yeah. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if I was pretending to be all confident and stuff and then end up burning all my food? I think you just came over here to psych me out. Off some citrus, just to give it a bit of a dressing for the salad. Give that a little mix. So I'm just gonna get this slightly going and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven for like five minutes. Yeah, that's definitely ready. Ooh, toasty oven. So I wasn't too worried about getting behind. I've probably made at least three or 4,000 omelets over the course of my life. Now you look super chill, no big Yeah, deal. it's chill over here, man. <laughs> you know, us Americans, we just take it easy with the breakfast, you know? <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I've made this recipe over and over again a million times in the cafe back home. Since I don't have cheese, it's hard to bind everything together so it doesn't fall out of the omelet. So the blueberry's gonna go straight in this pan until they're nice and jammy. What's going on over here now? We've got ourselves a little Ooh, it's like a nice little... cinnamon compote going on. Oh, nice. And that's the quinoa porridge. This is looking really good. It's a little bit different though, this right? This looks it's, great, yeah, yeah, I love it though. Yeah, yeah. All right, good luck. <laughs> I thought Guy's recipe was incredible. I saw that he had quinoa, uh, there was a lot of nice little spices and vanilla pods. All right, you got almost five minutes, Guy. I'm all plated, man. Oh, oh great. I might even try and make a second breakfast. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, got this one down. Got to knock one more out. Second breakfast, fingers crossed. So I thought I had time to make myself some quinoa pancakes as well. Luckily omelets, they're pretty quick. I'm just gonna hang out for a second. He's saying he's done, but I don't think he is. He's got a blender out, I see eggs. I don't know if he's done. He's still making dough or something. Maybe faster for the Aussies is like the same way their toilet flows. You know, it's like, it's just completely backwards. So faster, slower, I don't know. All right, and this goes. All right, second omelet. Right down the middle. Oh, it doesn't look good. Oh well, let's do it anyway. How you doing over there, guy? Improv quinoa pancake. That's not really working. I can see you've only got one minute there. Yeah, I'm good. Three basil leaves in one minute. We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> it's an epic fail so far. Let's do it. Whew! I went simple. You know, I, I think you're doing something crazy and amazing, but uh, I'm done. I think the sound, I think that timer's up, guy. I've got one mini quinoa, quinoa pancake for you, mate. <laughs> one. That's all yours. It's a little quinoa porridge. What do you reckon? That is insane. A bit different, isn't it? Yeah. 
That's you get mine, I get one of yours. Let's do this. And it's quinoa with coconut milk. It was full of spices, vanilla bean, star anise, and then it was laid with a berry compote with like a fresh apple and, and raspberry salad on top. Oh, this is good guy. Yeah. Let's, let's get into yours. Simple yeah. basil, yeah. Uh, heirloom tomatoes, awesome. some olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of avocado for richness. I eat this all day long. Mm. A little pancake. That could almost be a cap. Mm. To this whole breakfast. Unreal, man. It's really good. We both made it. I don't think we're going to. <laughs> right? Of course. I think mine won. I think we should get someone else to choose because purely I think mine was better. All right, how are we going to figure this out? I think we'll leave it up to the viewers to decide what dish they think is best. So make sure you leave a comment and tell us who you think won. Also, you guys can check out my challenge on my channel, youtube.com slash Byron Talbot. So be sure to click the link below and see me win again. Oh, really? You think you're going to win? I'm right. confident, but we'll see. And don't forget to check out Top Chef Jules on Bravo August 6th. I'll see you guys soon with the next challenge. See you later.